Which one says, Abba, who are you gonna fight with when I don't come? That's the problem, right? I'm not fighting with you. Who do you mean who? Right? I'll ask you a question. So, Kenan Hatam, Kenan Hatam, we learned over there. We learned over there in Masechet Midot. Midot? Tamid. Tamid. In Masechet Tamid. Amar Lame Mimune. Tsu Vaviu Tale. Go bring a sheep. Milishat Beta Tilaim. From the office of the Tilaim. Vahalo, Lishkata Tilaim Aita Bimitsoa, Tsefonit Ma'aravit. Was in the north, was in the northwest corner. And there were four offices in the Beit HaMoked. So we're talking about an, about an area called the Beit HaMoked. Let's make the office. We have west, east, north, south. You have four offices in the Lishkat Beit HaMoked. So now we're saying, the Northwest Office, Tilaim. And you have four offices over there. One of them is where they kept the sheep that were checked ready for a korban. Where we said they kept the hotamot that they would that they would sell people if you wanted to buy Nisachim. One was the the, the, was the office of the chamber of the Moked. So the Mefarshim explained that in the Lishkat Beit HaMoked, they also, they had another fire, they had another fire going, or this was the original fire. Or they kept the tools for, the, for keeping the fire in the Lishkat Beit HaMoked. And the last one was the Lishkat that they made the Lechem HaPanim. Urminu, I'll ask you a question. Arba Lishachot Hayusham. The other bra- the Mishnah in Masechem Midot says that there were four Lishachot there. Let's see. Arba Lishachot Hayula Lebet HaMoked Ki Kitoniyu Like little chambers, little offices HaPetuchot L'Taklin What is it, like Ubex? Cubic or something. They open into a Taklin. The whole Machlok in the Rishonim. Shtayim Bakodesh Two of them were in the Kodesh Vishtayim behol, and two of them were in the hole. Now the Lishkat Bet HaMoked itself, if you see the picture in the Mishnayot, do me a favor, so bring me the Mishnayot Kadashim Bet, and bring me the Rambam Avodah. So, in, 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 the, in the Mishnayot, so if you see if you find that paper that we have the big picture. I think it's on top of the Mishnayot over there, is that it? Here? Not it, huh? Okay. We had it the other week. I don't have to do it. So we say, so the lishchat, the lishchat bet hamoked, the lishchat bet hamoked was half in the kodesh and half out of the kodesh. Two of the lishachot were in the kodesh and two of the lishachot were out of the kodesh. Yeah. Let's see the beautiful pictures that we have here. Yeah. Here, this 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 area over here is the Lishkat Bet Hamoked. So you see that it's built along the wall. These two offices are Kodesh, and the rest of it is Chol. Upispisin v'rasheh, pispisin mavdilim ben Kodesh lechol. They had like a little marking, little little uh, slats that were separating between the Kodesh and the Chol, so the Kohanim would know where you have to keep Kiddushat Azara and where is only Kiddushat Harabai. What did those offices serve? Ma'aravit Romit, the southwest, he aita lishkata le korban. That was the tilaim, which is that's that's the contradiction. According to the to the to the Mishnah Masechet Tamid, the lishkata tilaim was in the northwest. According to the Mishnah in Masechet Midot, the lishkata tilaim was in the southwest. Now so we'll, northwest and southwest is the one okay? Yes. Now we'll see just the rest of the offices. Right? He I talishkat tale tila tila e korban. Deromit Mizrahit, Southeast, he he lishkash or simba lechemapanim. That's the lechemapanim. The Bedgarmu uh, offices. Right? Uh Mizrahit Sifoni. 
the northeast, Boganzu Bet Hashmonai, Avne Mizbeach Sheshiksum Malchi Yavan. That's the whole point of the, of the Lishka? No. So, so why are they call it? He didn't say that. It says that's where they put it. What is that? That's a philosophy. If, if you notice, in the, in the other bright, it says that there's four Lishachot. There's Tilaim, Chotamot, Moked, and Lechem Apanim. Over here, we clearly... We, the they, they didn't mention what, anything about the Hashmonaim. What, what, what right? Lishka is what? One second. Sefonit Ma'aravit. Sefonit Ma'aravit. North, northwest. Bo... Ba Yordim Lebeta Tevila. Steps. They had a mikveh downstairs. So, over here, what, what, the only two that are the same are the Lechem Apanim and the Tilaim. The Avne Bet Chashmonaim and the steps are doubling over with the Hotamot and the Lishchat Bet Hamoked. That's only what's what says. Lekaman Parich, the Leel Bemadnit in the Tamid Muchach, the Hi Haita Bekerem Mizrachit Sefonit. They're asking a question, because if you, the kahashiv, milishchat tilaim, shaita bekerem ma'aravit, tzifonit, ad lishchat lechem apanim, dalad lishachot, fo lishachot, vechim akfat, terech yamin, when you go around to the right, nimtzet lishchat lechem apanit, bitzvonit mizrahit, in the northeast. So if you go around, you wind up with lechem apanim here. So you have a contradiction. According to the, to the, uh, well, it's directly it's directly east of the of the Tilaim, but it's either on the on the south side, or according to the Mishnah Tamid, it's on the north side. It make a difference if it's cornish or it's fold. What? According to that, it make a difference. Right. Correct. 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 So he says, "Nimsed lechemayim betzvoni marav Mishani la," and the Gemara answers the question. We have another question. You have two different uses. There's a lot. No, there's a lot of offices that did two things. So they did. We're quoting different duties of the same of the same lishka. So okay. Yeah, obviously the, they didn't make the to bury the, the back. Okay. They had to use for it. Amar. So they had so, says the Gemara. Amar Avuna, man tana midot. Rabbi Lezer ben Yaakov, he says not a stira. He says that one Mishnah is the stam tana. One Mishnah, the Mishnah midot, that gives a different order. The Mishnah midot that says that the tilaim is in the southwest goes like Rabbi Lezer ben Yaakov. The tnan, like we learned, is rat nashim hayeta orech. So the Izrat Nashim, correct, is in front of is in front of in front of the Azara. In front this is the Izrat the, the Azara. This has the Kiddushat Azara. This is equal to the Hatzer of the Mishkan where the Mizbeh was. Just like the Mizbeh is here, so too in the in the in the in the, Mish, in the Mishkan you had the Mizbeh in the Hatzer. That's all Kodesh. This you don't have a parallel. This is like Mahane Leviyat. This is the same Kiddushah Zarabai. That's called the Israel Nashim. It's 135 by 135 square. Less those little squares on the corner? Uh, no, include, no. The whole, the, that, the whole size is that. They, they built the offices in the square. Right? Me'aj lo ya'al me'a v'shloshim v'chamesh. Ve'arba l'shachot, they had four offices. Be'dalen mekze'oteha. In the four corners. Uma'ayu m'shameshot. What they do in those offices? De'romit mizrahit. Southeast. That's the office, the office of the Nezirim. Shisham Nezirim Mevashlim et Shalamehem. That's where the Nezirim would cook their Korban Shalamim. Umegalhin Saran, then they would cut off the hair. Umashlichin Ta Hatadu, then they would put it under the pot. There's that many Nezirim that had a whole office? Uh, they needed to have a place available <coughs> if they were Nezirim. Why did they put it under the dude? To bury it? No, no to burn it. Once they burn it. it. They burn, the they burn the hair. Mizrahit. Mizrahit Sefonit. He's supposed to burn it? That's what it says in the Torah. Mizrahit Sefonit. Uh, northeast. That's here. He aita lishchat dir aitzim. That was the wood office. Shesham kohanim ba'ale mumim omdim. The kohanim who had mumim, they couldn't serve on the mish- in the Mizbeah. 
They would stay there, umatli'im ba'itzim. They would pull out the wormy wood. Shekol ha'etz sheyesh batola'at. Any wood that has worms in it, pasul legabe mizbeach. It's pasul for the mizbeach. Tzifonid ma'aravit. Northwest. Hi ha'ita l'shchata mitzora'im. That's the office of the mitzora'im. Rashi says, Mefaresh bepirkin del kaman. Shesham ha'mitzora'im tovlim b'shmini l'taratam. That's where they went to the mikveh on the eighth day, after they already did the seventh day rituals, and they're getting ready for the for the uh, earlobe, thumb, toe stuff. When they're going to stick their hands in to do thumb work, even though he dipped yesterday, he has to dip again. Right? Well, he touched the... Uh, no, 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 he's no, a, it was a mitzvah. He's a mitzvah. Right? 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 Ma'aravit Dirumit, Southwest, Amar Abeleza ben Yaakov, Shachachti Mahaita Mishamish. He says, I forgot what it did. Haba Shaul Omer, Bahayu Notnim Yayim Veshemen. That was a storage room for wine and oil. Viaita Nikret Lishkat Bet Shmanya. That was called the oil oil office. No, 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 I don't think so. Maybe. It could be, no, the Chotamot were on the other side. Right? The, the Chotamot the were here. Side. Maybe. I don't know. Rashi so they says... They to get the Chotam there and they go back outside to get the oil? I, I, I'm not sure if that's what it was. I, I don't know. It's, it could be it was just storage. Um, Albert was in charge of the coin. <laughs> says Rashi, look at Rashi. Amar of Leza bin Yaakov. Shachachti... Michlal de Reisha Rebeleze ben Yaakov Kamala. From the fact that he says Shachachti, so if someone else was speaking, though someone else, Lechaura, didn't forget. So the person who's talking is Rebeleze ben Yaakov. So, but when, when, as long as he's talking good, they said, when they had to say that he forgot, they said Shachachti, might, they quoted his name. Says the Gemara. So there's no stira. One Tana is Rabbi Meir, whoever the Stam Tana of Tamid is. And the Tana of Midot is Rebeleze ben Yaakov. And he differs about. The rotation exactly where the office is one. Now, but the, he was talking about the outside office. So you say even the there's one. A machloke, the, there's, there's a machloket. There's a machloket. There's a machloket. The whole masechet is the same guy. So he, he said over here one order. The Mastana and Tamir had a different order. And the proof that it's the Belez ben Yaakov is that over here, when they're mentioning these offices, when he got here, he said, I forgot what it was. He said that in Tamir. He said that in Midot. He's the Tana of Midot. Right? He's the whole Tana of Midot. We assume Stam Midot and Rebbe Leben Yaakov. You, you got, it, it, it has to be one person. He's going through the whole Beit HaMikdash. You just got to gotta go with one guy. You get the whole picture. Hachinami Mistabra. Says the Gemara, it makes sense. The Rebbe Lezer Ben Yaakov, he. That the Mishnah Masech Midot is Rebbe Lezer Ben Yaakov. The Tanan. We learned Kola Kotalim Shahayusham Hayu Givohim. All the walls that were in the Beit Hamikdash and the Harabait, they were all tall above the gates. Hotz Mikotel Mizrahi. Besides for the eastern wall, Sha Kohen Hasorefeta Para, the Kohen who's burning the para, Omed Bahar Hamishka, he would stand on Har Mishka, Omechaven Veroeba, and he would have to look past that gate in order to see into the Hechal. What is the Har Mishana? Har Zetim. So you can imagine, you, when you stand... <coughs> when you stand by the, on, on the steps, coming down to the Kotil, if you look over the Harabite, you see the arches of the Intercontinental Hotel on the Har Zetim, right? No, it's on the... Everybody knows that. The two guys pointed out the Jordanians <laughs> built it in the middle, <laughs> middle of the cemetery. Right? The Hyatt used to be the Hyatt. No, 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 no. The Hyatt is in, is in Mount <laughs> Scopus. It's somewhere else. <laughs> on Harazetim, on Harazetim, it was the, the arches of the Intercontinental Hotel. So you, the Kohen is standing. In Intercontinental? The Kohen is standing somewhere, somewhere on the Harazetim. Looking, looking east. If you ever go in like uh, by Orachim Makadosh's grave or anywhere in the Kidron Valley and you look up, you see what they call now the Sha'arir Hamim, the double closed gates where the Muslims have the cemetery in front and they tell you that the Muslims put it there because it's a Masorah that Eliyahu and that Mashiach is going to come in 
Eliyah Navi is going to come from that gate, so they put a cemetery because he's a Kohen and he can't come in, and they don't know that Goyim are not with the man. Never heard that, that story? Ah, you took right with that. You took right, you took right, cheated you. I went to Harazetim, to Orahayim's Kever, I went with Danny's rule. He didn't explain me that much. Ah, okay. I went with Danny. What should I tell you? So that, that's the classic, the classic. If you're standing, if you're standing over there, so the Kohen would stand over there, and he's looking, Ashrenu, we're so to be able to talk. But with almost all of us have, have seen the sight. Rashi never saw it. Unbelievable. So the the Harabai, you're looking in. You look he's looking from there, and he has to look and see Petah Ohl Moed. Look in Rashi, it says Where was the Petah? veroe. Look in Rashi. How is he burning the uh the Parazuma over there? That's where he's supposed to burn, on Hara Zetim. But there's all the cemetery there. <laughs> I don't know, but after Tchiyat HaMetim, there's all these people there. They're going to get up. That's why, Sefi, that's why we only buried yeah, Sadiqim right. on Hara Zetim, because if he's not a Sadiq, Kohen Gadol's going to have a problem, right? He's not going to get up. That's why they had the bridge. That's why they had the bridge, true, but... Uh, I don't know if it's going gonna, gonna to solve all the problems. No, they obviously made it. The place wasn't... Where, where and how does the team is clean? We need to find a clean place for him to make it. No, no, we're not talking about that time. We're talking about the next time. We're not worried about the last time. Umit kaven, umit kaven veroeh. Look in Rashi. Me'al gova rosh akotel. He would look over the height of the eastern wall, meaning this. Over this wall. He would look. This is the this is the eastern wall. He's, That's like the wall of the city now. He's standing here on Harazetim, and he's looking. So he says oh, this high. wall was low. It was not high. As in this wall was low, and he would look over so this wall see. and then through all these gates, <coughs> petach echal to see the petach echal. Look at Rashi. So the Harazetim is a higher mountain. Um, I don't know if it's higher. Aha, mm-hmm. uh-huh, you have the fence. Good. We're gonna use that soon. He has a good picture. Me'al gova, we don't need it yet. Right now, we don't need it. Me'al gova rashe'a kotel derech ha-she'arim she'lefanim hemenu. Through the gates that are in front of him. Petcho she'lechal. Is missing a word there? Et, he would look at petcho she'lechal. The opening of the lechal. Keshu ma'ze badam. When he was sprinkling the blood. Kiddich ti vehiza. He should sprinkle. El nochach pene ohel mo'ed. To the face of the Ol Moed. Now, Vimaita Kotel Gavoa, if the do, if the wall was high, Afapish Ashearim, Mechuvanim Zekenegedze, even though the gates are all lined up, like you can see in the picture, Sha'ar Harabait Keneged Sha'ar Ezrat Nashim, the Sha'ar Ezrat Nashim Keneged Sha'ar Azara Gedola, the Sha'ar Azara Keneged Petach Echal, Lo Hayaya Cholerot Et Petach Echal, he wouldn't be able to see the opening of the Echal. Through the doors, because although the doors were lined up in a line straight, but there was a height difference. Which height? Harabait Har- Har- goes up. Mm-hmm. Like we said, we said in Masechet Shekalim that they didn't have to sweep it every day. They said because it's it's not it goes up and the wind sweeps it. It's self cleaning, mm-hmm. right? Lefisha Karka. The, the height of the hechal is, is gavoa esrim amot yoter mi karka ragle The the opening of the hechal is esrim amot yoter mi karka ragle harabait. The opening of the hechal, the floor of the hechal, is twenty amot taller than the than the harabait. It goes up in the bottom of harabait, the lowest level on harabait. So if if the if the gate of the harabait is twenty amot tall. And you look in, you're never going to be able to see the petach echal because you're blocked along the way. It keeps going up. It keeps going up. And it went up 20 full amot. Unless you're on a lower Unless angle. Unless you're on a lower angle, you could see it. You could see it up, upwards. No, you won't be able to see You have the front wall. And the thing, and your line of sight is, your line of sight is diagonal. You look up, you see it. Why not? You're on a straight line. Uh, the, 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 the tan is assuming that you won't be able to see it. you got to see over the first one. You're going 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 to see over the first one. I don't know exactly. The ta- as long as you're lower. As as you start off I didn't figure out all the angles, but the tan is assuming that you won't be able to see. Let's see. Mikar karagle arabait. Vinimtsa comes out. 
אסקופת ההיכל, ואסקופה והיכל זה גבוה ממשקוף פתח הר הבית, ואסקופה והיכל זה the bottom of the היכל, is higher than the משקוף of the gate of the הר הבית, ולא יוכל לראות חלל פתח היכל, you won't be able to see the, the, uh, the space of the, of the opening דרך אותו פתח. So now we're going to now we're going to make the calculation. Why can't you see the space? So therefore, therefore you had the Tana of Midot said that the because the bottom the bottom of the hechal is 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 higher than the than the than the than the top of the gate. So you can't look through. You look through. You can see the bottom. See the floor. So we say like this. Yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't allow fools in this in this room. Fool, fool is for, fool is for. Actually, if you sit past Elliot, maybe. That's Elliot's problem. This guy says he wants to do is breaking all the rules, Rabbi. All the rules. All the rules. Once you break, he missed fools so much. The first one is not coming. Rabbi, Rabbi, if you have prayed at seven thirty on Sunday, he could have fools. If he what? If you have prayed seven thirty today, he could have fools. Let's go. V'tanan, we learn. So we shut this Rashi says, "Kol hani tanan v'tanan dekamaiti." All the Mishnah we're going to bring. Lefrusha Ashi is coming to explain. The lo mashka hat you're not going to find the echsi pitcha tataa v'mahalot harabai that the bottom of the 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 bottom of the op, bottom opening is covered through the the levels of harabai. So let's see. We're not we're not assuming angles. I don't know exactly what. Maybe they knew that it was parallel. Maybe some other calculation. The Tanan, Kol Akotalim Shahayusham Ayu Givoim Chot Mikotel Mizrachi Shakohen Asoref Et Apara Omed Behar Meshcha Umechaven Veroe Ken Ken Negdo Petchoshel Echal B'Shat Azat Adam As He Was Sprinkling the Blood. The Tanan we learned. כל הפתחים שהיו שם, all the openings that were there, גובהן עשרים אמה. They were twenty אמות tall, ורוחבן עשר אמות, and they're ten אמות wide. So now we know the magic number is twenty. We got, if we get to twenty, then we know that you wouldn't be able to see through the door, and that's why they had to lower the top so you could look over that door. ותנן, לפנים ממנו, inside the harabait, is the soreg. Right, that's, it's actually this fence over here, if you're looking on the picture. V'tanan, l'fnim imenu, inside the soreg, is the hell. Eser amot, you have a ten amah space over there. V'shtem esre ma'alot hayusham. You can see on the picture over here, if you want to look at it, there's twelve, there's twelve steps over there. Going, going through, in, in, in the hell area, before you get to the azara, there's twelve steps going up. Now, I don't know how, how, how tall those steps wound up being. <coughs> Rum ma'ala, the height of a step is chazi ama, is a half ama. Vishileha, and the, the, the depth of the step is chazi ama, is a half an ama. Less than a foot. So therefore, uh, therefore, all together, all together you get. You get standard and a half. Eight inches. Eight inches. So all, all together, all together, all together, all together, you get to you get six six amot in the hill, right? Each one's half. In length or in height? Height. I don't care about length. I give a height. I got. I went up six amot. That's all we're gonna calculate now, right? Right. Yes. Rum ala hatzi shul hatzi ama. Tet vav maalot olot mitocha. Hayored, Hayordot. Now it's, it's a new Mishnah. It probably should say Vitnan. Yeah, Vitnan, we have another Mishnah. Tet Vav Ma'alot, Olot Mitocha. From the Ezrat Nashim to the Azara, there's 15 Ma'alot. Hayordot Me Ezrat Yisrael, Ezrat Nashim. Right over here. Here's the 15 Ma'alot, Kenege Deshira Ma'alot, going down from the Ezrat Yisrael to the Ezrat Nashim. Hey, you see the 15 steps? They're semicircular. That's where the Levim stood. That's where the Levim stood and they played the instruments. Mm-hmm. Eddie's waiting to see where he's going to plug in his electric guitar. <laughs> when he does. Right? Is that, is that outlets? <laughs> I don't know. He's waiting. <laughs> so he's speaking to the contract. He wants a lot for his amps. Ted Vav Ma'alot, Olot Mitocha, Hayordot Me'ezrat Yisrael Le'ezrat Nashim. 
rum ma'ala hatsi ama v'shileha hatsi ama. So that's seven and a half, right? Fifteen steps to your seven and a half. So six and seven and a half, we're thirteen and a half. Right? Vitnan, and we learned, Bena ulam, Vila Mizbeach, between the ulam and the Mizbeach, again, going down here, you see it over there, going down from the ulam is the, is the, uh, the, the, uh, the end chamber in front of the Echal, and to the Mizbeach, you have 22 steps. That's where they used, where they put the... Uh, no, I don't know if it was there. I think it was. I think it was just in the Azara, not on the steps. I don't know if it was on the steps, right? So it says you had 22. No, sorry, there's 22 amot, not 22 steps. My mistake. And 12 steps. Hayusham were there. Rum ma'ala hatziyama v'shilah hatziyama. Again. Half an amma height. So, right? So you have another six amot. So you have six and seven and a half and six is 19 and a half amot. In theory, you should be able to peek on the top in a half amma and see the halal of the pe- of the of the of the of the petchoshel hechal. So why did why did the Tana of Masechet Midot say? That you have to lower the wall on top of the on top of the eastern gate, so the kohen could look. Let him let him shoot straight through. You could peep through. There's a half an amma spot visible. He's gonna see a half an amma spot from five miles away. He's keen eyed, the kohen gadol. He's very good sight. Usually, a half an amma will get a little bit blurred. Twelve inches. It's a big window. Twelve inches. The guys are not as a team. Okay, but he knows where to look. If they didn't understand that, they didn't survive the class this long. Let's see. It's a 12 inch window. Rashi, Vitnan, Ben Aulam, Lam is Beach, you did Malot. Hareshe Gava, Karka Echal, Mikarka, Rabai Tatachton, Tisha Esre Amot Vahazi. It's 19 and a half Amot higher. Adain Nishar, Minapeta Hatachton, Hazi Ama El Yona, there's the top, the top half an Ama, Lerot Derek Sham, you can see through there. Hatsi ama tachtona shel halal petach echal. Vitnan, we learned, Rebeleza ben Yaakov Omer, Ma'ala haita sham, there was another step over there, Vegavoa ama, it was an ama tall, Viduchan natun alea, there was a platform there, Ubo. What? The stage? Yeah. Ubo shalosh ma'alot shel hatsi hatsi ama, and there was three steps. Of a half an amma each. One and a half. Sounds like two and a half. No, one and a half. Because you also had one and four. But I'm yeah, sure. one. It was on a platform of one. Right, well, actually, sorry. Yeah, Rashi one. says, V'gova amma v'chetzi. V'duchan shilavim banui aleha. Ma'alaita od be'ezrat Yisrael. Oh, sorry. V'gova amma v'orka berohav kol azara. V'duchan shilavim banui aleha v'gavoha amma v'chetzi. But I think I, I only amma count the amma, meaning there was a dukhan that was an amma hetzi on top of it. But I only need that amma. That amma continued for the rest of the of the Ezrat Yisrael. So he says, "I amar bishlam Rebbeleiz ben Yaakov." If you say the tan of me, daughters of Rebbeleiz ben Yaakov, "Haynu deechsi lepitcha." That's why you couldn't see the door anymore, because the extra amma puts you up to twenty and a half. So now the door, which is 20, is totally covered. Ela i'amar trabanan, if you're going to say it goes like the Chachamim, ha'ika palga de'amta de'methazi le'pitcha b'gaveh, you have an half of ama on the top of the, of the door, of the Harabai, that you can see through that top, you can see the Pesach of the Echal. Ela lav, shma mina, Rebelez ben Yaakov, he must be the Stam Tan of Midot, is Rebelez ben Yaakov. So that's the second proof. That this time, Tan of Masechem Idot is Rebelez ben Yaakov, and therefore we understand the answer to the stira between Masechem Midot and Masechet Tamid. What was wrong with the first proof? Uh, bonus proofs. <coughs> All this calculation to prove this, and you already have. What's mad? You lazy today? <laughs> <laughs> Rav Ada, this is easy for us that we yeah, learn yeah. Masechet Shikalim. This is we do this oh, in the sleep. Those that learn Masechet. 
‫אתה עוזר לנו עם מעשה רכישה. ‫רב עדה, רב עדה בר אהבה, ‫רב עדה בר אהבה אמר, ‫הא מאני רבי יהודה היא. ‫הוא אומר, לא, ‫אני לא יכול להגיד ‫שאת המשנה עם מעשה חמידות ‫זה רבי אליעזר בן יעקב. ‫למה הוא רוצה להגיד ‫אם הוא יכול להגיד את זה ‫לפני, אני לא יודע. ‫דתניא, רבי יהודה אומר, ‫המזבח ממוצע ועומד באמצע עזרה. ‫זה מזבח, זה לא ברור בדיוק ‫איפה בעזרה המזבח עמד. ‫אז אנחנו נהיה עוד כמה מחלוקות, ‫עוד כמה אופניות, ‫איפה בעזרה המזבח עמד. ‫המזבח הוא תנא מותו. ‫אז 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 תנא מותו. through the half an amah, what are you able to see? You're able to see the bottom, the bottom of the, of the petach of the ulam. Now we're going to stick a ten amah mezbeach over there. You ain't seeing nothing. Too far away you see. Well, it's seven and a half up anyway, but there's... Wow. We said it was seven and a half up. Where? You, you, from the stair, from those fronts. Anyway, you're 19 and a half. 13. The bottom of the bottom no, of that the thing bottom, is, is 13 and a half. The bottom of the thing is 13 and a half. So, so that the 10 is going to put you way over the top. 10 is going to add to it. Right. The 10 is at. Uh, well, it was, it's nine really because the only the kid are not. So you have nine. You have nine from there. It gives you uh, 13 and a half and nine. You have 22 and a half. What? The mizbeach was right in the middle. That's the question. Where exactly was it was? Meaning was was the mizbeach just totally blocking? The mizbeach is 32 and more wide. So if the Mizbech is 32 or more wide, if you put it smack in the middle, right, in, in this picture, in this picture, it's not smack in the middle. She you, says the uh, Mizbech was Gova 9. It's, it's 10 with the Kiranot, so 9 without the Kiranot, correct. The Kiranot don't get in your way, probably. Well, not the whole way, only yeah, where they are. Depends so, what you call the right, middle. So, no, so look over here. So if you look in this picture, you'll see the Mizbech is not centered smack in the middle of the Azara. It's pulled over to the, to the south. So there would be... There would be, you'd be able to look in from here, and maybe you could see on this side, you'd be able to see so the... Why uh, call it This is a mahloket. Rabbi Yehuda says, Mizbeach memutza ve'omed be'emtza azara. Rabbi Yehuda says, the Mizbeach is smack in the middle of the azara. V'shloshim, v'shtayim, amot ayulo. And it has 32 or more. Let's read Rashi. Rav Adah Ba'avara Maha Mani Dekatani Dekoto Mizrahi That the eastern wall Hutzrach Liyot Namoch It had to be low So you look over it. Rabbi Yudahi The Amara Mizbeach Omed Be'emtza Ha'azara He said the Mizbeach was plopped down Centered in the Azara. Keneged Ha'petachim Opposite the openings In between all the openings V'nemtza Be'govho Sotem Et Ha'petach So its height is closing the opening, hatachton, the bottom opening. Share ala karka ezrat Yisrael mi karka hatachton yud gimulama vachatziyama. Already, the karka of the azara is thirteen and a half amot up. Kodim sheigia la mizbeach before it reaches the bottom of the mizbeach. The mizbeach kovot tishah. The body of the mizbeach is nine tall before you get to kederot. Hare eshti esrim v'shtayim vachetzi twenty two and a half. Two and a half too much. Two and a half too much. But Eser, so it comes out, if the, if the petach of the Echal is ten amot wide, so Eser amot keneged petcho shel Echal, ten amot smack in the middle, blocking the whole Echal, petach Echal, yud alef amah letzafon, eleven amot going north of that opening, v'yud alef amah ledarom, nimtza mizbeach mechuvan keneged Echal vekotalav, The Mizbeach is opposite the Hechal and the walls on the side. So your whole view is about this. Also, Eser Amot, Rashi, Kenegah Petcho Shel Echal, Yud Im Tsaot Shel Echal, the ten middle ones. Ahat Esre Letzafon, eleven to the north, Kenegah, Hei Amot, Hanotarim, Lechalal Echal, Mena Mezuzah, Veletzafon, Share Halal Echal, Esrim Amah. So it's not only past, the whole inside of the Echal is twenty Amot. Five of the amot of the mizbeach is covering the the five amot that's to the that's to the north of the doorway. The doorway is ten amot smack in the middle. On the side of that doorway, you have five ama wall opposite the the inside of the echal, and on the south you have five ama inside wall 
parallel to the, the inside of the Hechal. So the Mizbech is blocking those five also. The Keneged Vav, and it's also Keneged Vav Shalot Viakotil Tsefoni Shal Hechal. The wall of the Hechal was very thick, there were offices inside. So this is also blocking six amot of the thickness of the wall of the Hechal. The Chen Ledarom, Nimtzar Rohbo Shal Mizbech, Metzumtzam is is exactly Keneged Hechal Vikotalav, opposite the Hechal and its walls. That's where, that's the lashon of the Mishnah. Keneged haichal vikotalav. Ve'is al kadaitach midot Rabbi Yehuda hi. The Gemara is asking now. You think midot could be Rabbi Yehuda? Mizbeach be'emtza azara mi mishkahala. Could you could you situate the mizbeach in the middle of the azara of the azara according to Rabbi Yehuda? The Hatenan we learned kola azara the ezrat. The Azara proper, Haita, Orech, Me'avish, Monim, Vesheva, Aroha, Me'avish, Loshim, Vehamesh. It was 187 by 135. So you can look at the picture. It's not like the Israel Nashim is square. 135 by 135. Over here, it's the same 135 wide, but it's 187 long from, from here to there. Rectangle. Rectangle. Very good. Soli. How did they say rectangle in Arabic? Mustatil. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know he didn't go to kindergarten here and learn rectangle. Okay. Rabba is square. Rabba is square. I'm staying out of this debate. You guys can fight on your own. Mustatil. The E. I never heard that one. What? Mustafi? I see him having it. I'm moving to the room. 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 The kaparich talmuda le Rav Ada. The ukma ker biuda viis tame midot ker biuda ninu mizbeach de ata beemtza azara aliba de stama de midot mimeshka halak. Could you say that? Kol azara, kol hekefa azara gdola. The whole circumference of the azara orech kuf pezayin. The length is 187. U betoch oto hekef in that in that area nevne habayit litzad ma'aravi. The Beit HaMikdash is built, meaning the Hechal is built towards the west of it. And the Hatser and the Mizbech is in the east part of the Azara. Hechal mea orech im kotel ulam. The Hechal, the Hechal itself, the inside of the Hechal is 20 by 60. But when you add on the ulam and the thickness of the walls, so the Hechal becomes 100 amot long, meaning like this. From here to here is 100. So now we only have 87 left, right? Here, it says, Im kotel ulam, when the walls of the ulam, the halalo on the inside, the kotel lechal, the wall of the lechal, the halalo on the inside, the amatraxin, and the ama separating between the kodesh and the kodesh kodeshim, the halal beta kodesh kodeshim, the Ovi Kotil Ma'arvi and the thickness of the west wall, the Halal Ta'harav and the thickness of the of the room behind it, the Ovi Kotil Hitzon and the thickness of the outside wall. Hachi Mifarsha Bimasechim Idot. It's explained like that in Masechim Idot. Ulkaman Mighty Law, we're going to see it later, but Perekotziulo. So that's 100. Mina Mizrach Le Ma'arav. From the east to the west, we're going to go. So now he's starting from the Sha'ar Nikanor over here, and he's going backwards. Min ha-mizrah, lima'arav, yud alef ama mekom dirisat raglei Yisrael. So all of us Yisraelim, it's almost, you almost can't see it. But you see these steps over here, right? We're allowed to go from here to there. 11 amot by 135. Now you want to know what? You need a mirror. 11 amot inside. There's got to be some serious no, you can say that it's a 
Yeah. Hazar Baruch, that's how to buy it. Why ladies as much? It's definitely pushing. It's not ladies. They're not inside. So I'm out. Levim also only go to Yisraelim are allowed in Ezrat Yisrael only for smicha and the stuff like that. Levim are allowed in Ezrat Yisrael. I think in Ezrat Yisrael. I don't think they have extra privileges, Albert, but you can look it up later. How about they probably have steps? They get so many steps. Albert, we'll give you a lolly pop. We don't need to push. We have set stairs on the stairs. Outside. No, outside. outside. Right over here. <laughs> they probably have like... I'm not going to I'm not going to I'm going to inside. Yeah, I'm going to go inside. Maybe with the David Chirot. Let's see. Yud Aleph. Yud Aleph Ama. Mekom Dirisa Daglea Kohanim. Yud Aleph. Yud Aleph Ama. Mekom Dirisa Daglea Kohanim. Then you have... You have another another yeah. eleven amot where Kohanim are allowed to walk. What is this? Next, Yud Aleph Amot. Mizbeah. The next eleven amot is the space of the Mizbeah. Yeah. So now we just did thirty-three amot. Sheloshim Ushtaim. There's thirty-two amot. Ben Aulam vela Mizbeah between the Ulam and the Mizbeah. Esrim v'shtayim. No, sorry, my mistake. Yud al fama. I'm reading it wrong. Mekom diri sadag le yisrael yud al fama. Mekom diri sadag le koanim yud al fama. Mizbeach shloshim v'shtayim. It's thirty-two amot altogether. Ben olam v'lam mizbeach esrim v'shtayim. So what do we have? We have twenty-two, and thirty-two is sixty-four. And 22, no, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, 54, Right. You can, you can walk around right. Back, no? Rashi, I don't know if you can walk around, but it's, it's, there's room there. But you're the Aleph Amah. You weren't allowed past the 11 Amot, Sefi. What are you, yeah, but that's outside what's right? your excuse for, for... No, it's not. It's in the Azara. It's outside the wall. No, it's not. It's inside the wall. It's really not big. You're the Aleph Amah. Panuya Hore Beta Kapore. Ben Kotel Ata, Le Kotel Azara. Hakevesh. Now, going other, other, the other side. Mina Darom Latzafon. Measuring from the south to the, east. to the north. South to north, Albert. So here, this is the south of the Azara, and this is the north of the Azara. So you see, the, you see that the, the, uh, the Kevesh, the ramp of the Mizbech, goes down to the south. So let's see. Mina Darom Latzafon. Me'avish loshim v'chamesh. You have 135 amot. Hakevesh v'amizbeach, the ramp and the mizbeach, shishim u'shtayim, is altogether 62. So the mizbeach is 32 and the ramp is 30. Min ha'mizbeach v'letaba'ot, from the mizbeach to the rings, they had rings over here where they would tie down the, the animals before they made the shechita. So from the mizbeach, to the rings, there was an eight ama area, right? So now we're up to seventy. Mekoma tabaot esrim ve'arba was twenty-four, so we're at ninety-four. Mina tabaot la shulchanot from the tabaot to the shulchanot arba yeah ninety-eight. Now it doesn't tell me how big the shulchanot was. That's a problem. Mina shulchanot la nanasim from the shulchanot. To the midget pillars, Arba is another four. We're at 102. Min ananasim la kotel from these from those poles to the to the wall, the northern wall, the kotel azara et amot is eight amot. So we're at 102. We're at 110. What's missing? 25 amot. The other side. How big is the shulchanot? The other side of the kibbutz. I don't know how big the shulchanot are. The hamotar and the extra. Is ben a kevesh vila kotel is between the kevesh and the wall umekoma nanasim on the other side and the area of the pillars 
The other side? Ten and a half, ten and a half. So we, we're dividing it between. We didn't tell you either how big the pillars are. Right? Min ashul hanula nanasim arba and min nanasim la kotil is eight. But I didn't tell you. So, I didn't tell you three. three. Then, uh, so I have three spaces left. I have the shulchanot, the nanasim, the nanasim and, the and the area between the the kevish and the wall. So all this twenty-five. Uh, all that's twenty-five. Now I'm splitting it. Funny, but the brayta said to split it between the nanasim and the space. It didn't tell me anything about the shulchanot. <coughs> now, vei salkadaita. Mi daughter be Udahi, mid Miss Beah, the Emsa Azarami Mishkahala, could it be? Haruba, the Miss Beah, Bidaronka. Most of the Miss Beah winds up being on the south. Now, how do you see that? Is not so clear. The way we have it, if you would, if the Miss Beah, if, if the Azara is 135. So, it's possible. It's all the south, most of it. When that. Right. Well, if you calculate backwards, from you work from north to south. You have, you, from you, only if you calculate backwards based on what Rashi is going to tell you right. with Rashi's assumptions that he's going to give you. <clears throat> so let's see. We'll, 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 we, it's, it's, it's handy, but the first thing you have to know is how big the Shulchan is. But the midpoint of the Azara from 135 is how much? Is uh, 67 and a half, right? And at 67 and a half, that's that's the midpoint of the Azara. That would mean if the Mizbeach would be in the midpoint, and it's 32, so you'd have 16 to one side and 16 to the other side. Five and a half, five and a half. Yeah. Right? One second. 16 to one side, 16 to the other side. So that means from 67, sub- subtract subtract 16, so you had 61, 51. So I need, I, need, I, need the, I need the south wall of the Mizbeach to be 51 amot from the... From the from the from the side, right? And the kevish is thirty amot. So it's going into more. Right? So that means I should have if I want it to be centered, I need twenty one amot between between the uh, between the wall and the uh, beginning of the ramp. Between the wall and the beginning of the ramp. I have a problem. I, don't I only have twenty five amot to split yeah. between the Mekoma Nanasim <laughs> and the Shulchanot <laughs> and the about? And the, no, and this and the uh, and the space. Let's, so let's read Rashi. You see this long Rashi? Party time. Let's read Rashi. Yud Aleph, Hakevish v'Mizbeach, v'Lo Piresh Achshav, Mekom Panui Sheben Kevish Lakotil Deromishel Azara. Doesn't tell you now how much space is between the south wall and the and the and the rim. Ube Seifa Katani La. We're going to stick it in the Seifa. We're counting from the south minus that space. From the zvech to the rings, there were rings in the ground, north of the mizbeach. You put the neck of the behemoth, with, 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 with strong kohanim. No Mexicans allowed. Shulchanot she'alehem madichim kirve kodashim. The shulchanot that they wash the insides of the kodashim on that. That was four more later. Nanasim amudim nemuchim. They were short pillars atikuim bekarka that are connected to the ground. Vuunki liyaot shel barzel kevuim bahem. They had hooks on them. Shebahem tolim netabehema lavshi. They would turn the behema upside down to skin it over there. The hamotar mi me'avish loshim v'chamesh. The leftover uh, amot from the 135 shelonim nakan that we didn't count here. Umekom ashul hanot shelohutzrach lefaresh that they didn't have to explain. Sherochbo mefurash besefer yehezkel because that's explained in sefer yehezkel. The oto haodef that extra halakehu hetziol ledarom half of it ben kevish v'lakotel between the kevish and the kotel. And half of it goes to the place of the nanasim. What? Why is it even? It says split. It seems like even. If it says halakel, we will assume even. Ruba de mizbeach be darom kai. Lefi minyan ze. Sheare, hatsi roha va azara shishim ve sheva va hatsi. Sixty-seven and a half. Och shitete mehem. Mikotel tsefonit. La nanasim. 
Shmone, if you put eight from the northern wall to the Nanasim, um in Nanasim la Shulchanot Dalit, and from the Nanasim to the Shulchanot, four Hare Yud Bet, um ekom Dalit Shulchanot, Zu Etzel Zu, four Shulchanot standing next to each other, Eno Pahomi Dalit is at least four Amot, small tables. Vehen Ayu Het Shulchanot, we know that there were eight tables, Kidit Namish Kalim. Netuno dalit berosh dalit four opposite four. Nimtzeu dalit zu etzel zu berohav. So you have at least four back to back with wise. Haret tetvav. So you have you have uh, sorry haret tetzayin. So if you add four to twelve, you have at least sixteen. What each shulchan is four? At least no, all the shulchanot is four. All together. All together is four. Add it to the twelve that you already have. You have to sixteen. So what they have like this? Very small tables. Right? Umena Tabaot Villa Mizbeya Het, which it says sorry, Mishamla Tabaot Arba, another four is twenty, Hare Esrim. Mekoma Tabaot Esrim Va Arba, the the rings is twenty four. Hare Mem Dalit. Umina Tabaot Villa Mizbeya Het Hare Nun Bet. You have fifty two. Umekoma Nanasim Eseramot Um Umechza is ten and a half. Shuhu Hatsi Ha Ode Fanish Ar Mehanotar. That's half of what's left over because you have twenty one. Shil right. Shiloma na be Mishnah. That's what you're splitting it with. Shiloma na be Mishnah. Share me ave eser amot mana mina kevish la tzafon. You counted from the kevish to the north a hundred and ten. Nish arumi me avish lochim vahamisha. You have left over from a hundred thirty five shiloh havazra kafe. Vinit nul shulhanot. They get we get we natanu we gave la shulhanot dalit four for the shulhanot finish ar kaf aleph you left with twenty one otan tahlok limkom ananasim hetzian half goes to the ananasim ten and a half the hetzian ashnia on the other half ben kevish vila kotel is we what why why split it it's halakehu but you didn't split the shulhanot we gave it to four the shulhanot. it didn't say to give the shulhanot. We, we, we just know that the Shulchanot haven't been given any space. They were right. expected to be Omed Lemalam and Ateva. So we're giving it four and we're taking it out. Right? Hare. Hare min a Mizbeach. Latzafon. Samech betu mechza. So you're only starting the Mizbeach 62 and a half. Keshetiten. It's possible for it to all be in the middle. Keshetiten. Chamesh Amot. When you put, when you give five, um, the five northern amot of the mizbeach there, you're already at the half point of the azara, which is 67 and a half. Nimtza, kavzayin amot, mendurumiyot, shel mizbeach, the 27 amot, the 27 th- southern amot of the mizbeach, Kalin Bahatsi Deromi Shela Azara. So most of it is in the in the south. Are all in the half southern half of the Mizbeach. Vinimtsa except for five. Vinimtsa Sephono Shal Mizbeach, the northern Mizbeach, Kale, Litsov Sephoni, Shal Halala Petach, Etzela Mizuza. So it's it's Mamash by the Mizuza. Because because the the center point, the center point of the of the azara is at 67 and a half. That means that the opening of the hechal is five amot north of that and five amot south of that. Now, in theory, the mizbeach is blocking <coughs> the whole the whole opening. Why? Even if it's not centered. It's five overlapping. It's still five. The five northern ones are north of the half point of the. Yeah, so the starting five is blocked. I'm not sure. Rash, meaning we we already proved that it's not the Rabbi Yehuda. Because the Rabbi Yehuda said. It's exactly in the middle. It's exactly in the middle. It's not. But Rashi is bothered by saying, <laughs> "What did what did I have to worry about the not fact seeing, yeah. not seeing even anyway? Even without anything, you can't see because the Mizbeach is blocking." So now Rashi, Rashi's, Rashi's coming around to, to, to fend off a different criticism. Forget, forget what we... What yeah, according we, to the other opinion, you can't see. According, according to nobody could just see. Because now you can't see Gonan because Mizbech is blocking this time of Midot. So we say... 
So Rashi says, but it's not, it's not, it, we're going to have an answer to that. Kalim, v'nemtza sefono shom is beyach kale lesof tsefoni shel halala petach. Technically, the northernmost point of the mizbeach is by the northern edge of the door. Etzel mezuzah. Tsem imekom ha-mizbeach bet amot shel kenisat yesod v'asovev. If you calculate that the mizbeach goes in an ama after the yesod, and another ama by the soviv. So the, the Mizbeach. The Mizbeach goes up in ama and comes in an ama. That's ama yisod. Then it goes up five amot and it comes in another ama. That's ama soviv. Right? That was like a walkway for the Kohanim. So the, the door of the Mizbeach is hitting. This Amav the Sovev. Now, up here, it's, it's 13 and a half, it's now 14 and a half above, right? Because we're starting at 13 and a half, go up in Amav, you have 14 and, 14 and a half. You go in another Amav, you go up five, now you're at 19 and a half. <laughs> and you come in over here, you got another, another Amav. So you have, you still have, not a half an Amav along the whole top of the half, line. Half yeah, half Amav by Amen. two. Little sliver. Right. 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 By two amot. <clears throat> oh, between the two. Oh, it's it's like on the L. top. You have two amot there's that you can see. It. There's an L area. Not even because you only have half amma anyway. You have like that little space. Yeah, 19 and a half, Albert. Besides, for the doors from everything, you only can see 19. So Rashi says. Vasovev nimtzat safon halala petach. The northern point, the the the, the north point of the opening of the petach megule. Lemala above me knisata sovev bet amo fetu amo v'yachol rot kohen sheberosh haramishcha the kohen that's on the top of haramishcha derech otam bet amo petach ha'echal derech petach ha'tachton v'em tomar gova shesh amo shegavoa shegava hamizbeach ad knisata sovev so temet petach ha'tachton it's going to close it off and okay. Share Karka Azara Lo Alami Karka Harabait El Yud Gimulu Mechza. Veshesh El Gova Sovev Retesh Asro Mechza. Akati Pashle Palga de Amtai as a half an Amabi Gova Peta Hatachdon. El Alav Rebiliezer he the Exilebe Maalayetera. So it must be the Rezvin Yaakov and it's covered with F a extra half Ama Shmamina. That's Rashi's Pra. Rashi says. He got one and a half? He has one and has a half Ama. Filibi megab gembe. He says, I'm not so happy. The yesh lomar o il velo piresh pirsha mishna mekoma shulhanot shema im mekoma nanasim ukalu. Maybe that's the part that you split with the nanasim. But oto helek shata hole kafe amot haotvim. So you divide the 25 into 12 and a half and 12 and a half berohava azara al meava eser a mefurashim. Nimtza mena kevesh la kotel deromi. Yud betu mechza is 12 and a half. And that just gave me two extra amot. You see? Now you can't see anything. Now you can't see anything. Now you can't see anything. Right. Right. Hare ayin dalir u mechza. Tse mehem bet amot shu kinisati yisod vat sovend le tzafon nisharu ayin betu mechza velo nitgala mechala la petach melo hachut. Share emtza o shal petach be emtza roha v'azara. שארה לסופ שישים ושבע ומחצה, אוסיף עליהם חמש אמות שיו שבעים ושתיים ומחצה, כל אלתה, כל כאן חמש אמות של חצי הפתח הצפוני. ואני כך שמעתי, ראש זה heard that, שמקום השולחנות קלו למקום הננסים. That's the way I heard it. That the reason why the Tana didn't say the area of the Shulchanot is because it's a, it's a joint Shulchanot and a Nassim part. Aval ma shishaninu kan, la motar, ben kevesh la kotel u mekom an anasim, piresh li mori sedek, rabbenu yitzchak bar yuda, shenem asar, men aisrim vechamesh, ben kevesh la kotel, it was 12 between the kevesh and the kotel, veshlosh esrem lo mekom an anasim va Shulchanot, and 13 for the anasim and the Shulchanot. So why is it? It says Chalakehu. So Chalakehu should be 12 and a half, 12 and a half. He said, Natan, love the fish. Ben Kevesh, la kotel, makom panui. It was open space. 
וכאן יש צורך תשמין של שולחנות. That was wasted space over here. You need it for the שולחנות and the nanasim. So we gave a little more. ונמצא מחלל הפתח מגולי חצי אמה. So if you do like that, 12 and 13, then at least I still have half an אמה. Half an אמה space. וליבי מגמגם, says Rashi, my heart doesn't like it. לפי שהיה לתנא לפרש. Meaning, if you want to do it 12 and 13, you got to tell me. If you tell me, split it. Split it means 